Princeton, New Jersey, where I served as a town manager for 30 years. And um, I, I don't have a, a big, long history of getting around. I started as the assistant in Princeton, uh, where I served for two years as the assistant administrator. And then as a young man, I figured I knew everything. And it was time for me to be a city manager. So I went off to um, another town in New Jersey called Mawa, which was up by Manhattan. And um, it was rapidly growing. It was the last frontier of a very affluent area um, in New Jersey. I stayed there for four years. And my mentor in Princeton uh, retired after 33 years. And uh, they invited me to come down. And uh, I was delighted to accept the job and I stayed for 30 years. Um, the reason I left, I, I did meet some of you who have some Princeton connections. Um, and you may or may not know, there are actually two Princetons. There's, it's a hole in a donut situation where Princeton Borough is one square mile and Princeton Township, which I work for, uh, is 16. We shared many, many services and we shared the same name, Princeton Borough, Princeton Township, so there were many efforts to consolidate uh, beginning in the 1950s, but the borough uh, felt that they would lose their uniqueness if they acquiesced and agreed to consolidation. So it failed four times since the 1950s. However, uh, with the advent of the Great Recession, that should, all bets were off, and for the first time, Princeton Borough, um, at, at a referendum, uh, agreed to consolidate. So as of 1-1-2013, the two Princetons consolidated, so they didn't need two administrators, two police chiefs, two governing bodies, etc. Having 30 years um, of experience in Princeton, I thought it was the right time to move on. Um, I've always had a desire to be in the Northwest. My wife went to uh, Western Washington and Bellingham. We have a daughter up in Seattle. We love it up here. So uh, when the Profitman Group uh, advertised, you got a great consultant, by the way. He's he's the guy in this area. Um, I'll get you a five bucks. <laughs> <laughs> so I was very grateful to uh, be selected by this selection committee. I want to thank you for this opportunity to be here. And um, as Mr. Profitman said, anyone up here can do the job. We're all very capable. Uh, you're going to need to see which personality fits what you're looking for, because that's really going to be the difference, in my opinion. So thank you very much. And a oh, mistake, uh, well, it goes back to my youth again. When I was a young um, administrator in Princeton, and the police department was needed a little help, and um, the police chief retired. And back in those days, um, if you lived long enough, stayed seniority wise you would be bumped up and of course being young and knowing everything at that time I said we're not doing that we're gonna have assessment tests and we're gonna have in basket tests and we're gonna have psychological exams well we brought in a consultant uh, Carol Buerrocker I'm sure Mr. Proctor knows who he is he's a national uh, police study person and he came in and we tested everybody and and all of our officers, and in New Jersey, you must promote from the, within. So it's a closed shop. Everyone failed. <laughs> so, it, and it got out into the public, and 